of God, may His grace and peace be in you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we start the new year, let us pause for a while to realize so much we need God's forgiveness for our past sins. We have often failed to appreciate the preciousness of our time, of our talent, of our treasures. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We have often neglected to help our brothers and sisters in need. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We have often failed to worship and love you as you deserve. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the
a reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons, and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his way shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless us in His mercy. May God bless us in His mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May He let His face shine upon us. So may your name be known upon the earth, among all nations. Your salvation. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth do die. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us and may all the ends of the earth fear you. May God bless us in this earth. Brothers and sisters, 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy New Year, everyone. Merry Christmas to you all. Just as we went through, we are still on the off day of Christmas. Huh? Even though it is actually the start of the new year, and the feast that we celebrate today is the feast of, the, of Mary under the title Mother of God. Since it is also the beginning of the new city year, it has always been traditional to start it by starting it with a prayer for peace. Because that is what Christ came here to bring peace. Not just rest in peace, but peace as a totality of being blessed by the Lord. And that's why it's good that we heard in the first reading from the book of Numbers telling the people bless each other. Bless as we start a new life, a new year. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Because also peace is sought after by almost everyone. In fact, we have songs like Let there be peace on earth and let me be with you. And so I'd like to invite you to begin the work for peace. With yourself. Is there anything in your heart that causes you worry, that causes you heaviness? Most probably because you are still full of yourself. You have to empty yourself, empty yourself with selfishness. And empty yourselves with sin. That is why the confessional is there not only once a year, not only in preparation for the Holy Week, but all throughout the week, especially during Advent, as we prepare to welcome Christ. But Christ has come. Is he not yet welcome? For you can ask yourselves, Nagin welcome ba kayo nitong Pasko? Pinapasok mo ba ang maraming tao sa inyong puso? When you were busy lining up or giveaways lining up or shows lining up for your hair to do the life maybe to eat Maybe to watch a show, maybe to, to entertain yourself. But that we be welcoming others. Do we hear certain remarks to me? Uy, nandito lang, nandito lang. Pago na tayo, nandito na magkakay, nandito na masunuy, nandito na marato, nandito na mamakapi, nandito na rin yung Magpukomen na naman, maybe we do come to the people. We are not welcome. That is a thing to consider. Also, the war goes on new brain and Russia. And so many places where there are injustices, lies, of the beginning, of the hope, of the bullying, is there somebody having that situation in your presence, in your surrounding? Then inside that, we do something about it. 
Bring peace to the world. Bring Jesus to the world. And how will you bring Jesus if you are full of yourselves? We are to empty ourselves from sin and selfishness and put on Christ. Listen to his words. Listen and read sacred scriptures. And then also attend masses. Listen to the proclamation of the word and partake of the word made flesh. Partake of the word made bread and wine. Receive holy communion and not just sit there and proclame ng Christian. Come, receive Christ in His body and blood. For the more you eat Christ, the more you become like Him. The more you think like Him, the more you love like Him, and the more you will act like Him, and act with mercy and compassion. Needless to say again, I will remind you, there are seven formal words of mercy. Feed the hungry, give food to the thirsty, give drink to the thirsty, give shelter to the hopeless, give clothing to those of mine. From soul to soul, this is the sick, this is those who prison and worthy the dead. Or maybe worthy those who have died. Incidentally, in this Christmas season, have been mixed with so many masses for the dead. About sa kumaga, kung may misa pa na simbang gabi, sa gabi o sa hapang o during the day, ang yan po sa day, Masses where they have just lost their loved ones. Does that mean there is no rejoicing? We have to rejoice because the death of a person is the moment of glory for that person. He will end his life, but how will he end? It will end giving glory to God. Just as you hear today, ah, kung muna, wala ang dalang tayo. Sinabi ko sa inyo, pagdala at lalo yung mga tayo, umayin ko sa China. But don't worry, hopefully, it's just a fast thing. But there is need to rejoice in the day that we are worried about the day. Paano na mo, bago sa pagdala? Dito mo na. The rain blesses us, blesses the earth, the community. It is a blessing just as we receive the blessings of the first meeting. The Lord blesses you with rain to water the plants and to remind us that only not we are thirsty, but also nature is thirsty. How do you treat your environment? Are you ecological? Do you think of the surroundings making you clean? Do you think of the environment making them silent? In the Chicago, Chicago, I do the work. In the Chicago, I do the work. Do we also whisper? Do we also speak gently? Do we speak in the language of love? O puro kakasa na lang tayo. Puro ingay na lang tayo. Do we allow the silence to speak to us? To let us recall the mercy and the graciousness of God in the past, 
and to thank Him for that. To remember our faults, our weaknesses, the wrong and the hurts we have caused others. Do we say sorry? Do we make up for our mistakes? As we enter through the year, as we start the new year, we pray for peace in ourselves, in our surroundings, among the people that we live, by bringing Jesus to them. Bringing Jesus to others in yourself. Ah, then we can see.
O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to completion, grant to us to find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord, please answer now, the Lord be with you. Give up your heart, the heart of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise and bless and glorify your name on this solemnity of the motherhood of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of her dignity, brought forth into the world the eternal life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, and in our voices we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we have prayed.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you and to one another. How we we pray that our taking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose Nicola, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Pope Benedict, who fell home from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the womb of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the life of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Mother of Christians, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, with St. John Apostle, Son of the Apostle, and all the saints of each you throughout the ages, may we marry to be all heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and
we hold the Lamb of God, we hold the King of Kings away who sits in the world, blessed are those who to the supper of the Lamb.
sweet during our life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed of every Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. The blessing of the 